in 2019, ASLM, under the support and the funding from the Fleming Fund, uh, started a very important project for the continent. And this project was aiming at addressing one of the global health challenges, which is the antimicrobial resistance. And Africa is actually bearing the heaviest of the burden in terms of uh, antimicrobial resistance. So the Fleming Fund grant supported um, ASLM and other partners to measure and understand the burden of antimicrobial resistance in Africa. And it also went further to understand the level of antimicrobial use and antimicrobial consumption in the continent. So looking at uh, the results and also the findings from this project, uh, we understood that from the 14 countries that were part of this project, 12 countries had the drug resistance index that indicated that they have a problem with antimicrobial resistance. So that's just 12 countries. And we were looking at 14 countries and we don't know what is happening with the rest of the African continents, which goes to show that we might be actually having a bigger problem with antimicrobial resistance. Secondly, we also realized that about 1.3% of the laboratories among us, the 14 countries actually have the capacity to conduct bacteriological testing. That's just 1.3 among us, the 14 countries. And again, that is worrying in the sense that it's just a very low percentage uh, in the 14 countries. And this could be worse if we were to include all the countries in Africa. We also understood that uh, of the 15 uh, pathogens that are monitored by WHO in terms of uh, antimicrobial resistance, uh, only five of those are actually consistently monitored across these countries. And that is a big problem for the continent because we don't know in terms of the antimicrobial resistance for the other 10. So, so these findings um, have actually led to uh, the next phase uh, that the Fleming Fund is embarking on together with ASLM, with Africa CDC and many other partners. So in the next phase, uh, the Fleming Fund project is looking at improving the quality of this antimicrobial resistance data, uh, because that is very important in terms of actually countries relying upon, countries actually trusting and countries actually making important decisions. The data has to be accurate. So, so we are supporting countries, the Fleming Fund is supporting countries uh, through what we call external quality assurance approach, where we want to ensure that the testing that is happening in these countries is actually producing reliable and accurate results. So that's number one. Number two, uh, uh, this project, the Fleming Fund project is also seeking to increase the quantity of this um, AMR data by increasing the capacity in terms of the ability of these uh, laboratories to test, but also to increase the number of uh, laboratories in Africa that are able to perform antimicrobial resistance. 1.3 is not going to help the continent to understand the burden of AMR. So we need to, to have a good um, number of laboratories that are collecting this data systematically. Um, Number three, uh, we are increasing under this project, the Fleming Fund project, we are increasing collaboration uh, between different sectors using the One Health approach. Uh, that means uh, the human health, uh, the animal health and the environmental health have to work together uh, to improve and increase surveillance uh, for antimicrobial uh, resistance in the continent. And number four, which is lastly, is to support and build the capacity among, amongst these countries uh, to use this data. This data is being generated, but the big question is, it, is it being used uh, to inform decision-making and also to inform even policy development that should help us contain antimicrobial resistance in the continent.